Hi friends, David here, and in this video we're going to continue our series on the easiest P5 build ever with setting up and configuring it to run out of X-Lights. So the f all I've done since the last video is I went ahead behind uh, my P panel there and I had my color light directly connected via Ethernet to the computer in the last video. For the setup of this video, I've simply unplugged that cable, connected the color light card directly to the Raspberry Pi. Uh, so I have a Raspberry Pi that's going to fit inside this enclosure with the P5 panels. Um, it's going to connect wirelessly to uh, the network that is running Falcon Player to actually run my show. And you can send Falcon Player commands. You can technically do it out of X schedule. You can send it from another Falcon Player device. Um, and so basically, I've got a network cable between my Falcon Player, my Pi, and the Color Light card. Uh, that's going to send the data to the Color Light card. And then the Pi has wireless, uh, either through the inbuilt, if it has inbuilt wireless, or an external USB wireless. And uh, that is going to allow you to send the FPP commands out to it. All right, simple enough. So, we're connected wirelessly at this point. I have the FPP device on my home network at this IP address, 192.168.0.8181. And being the test dummy that I am, I have the X-Lights manual up with the configure P10 matrix panels page up. I'm doing P5s, but it's the same process. Being the test dummy that I am, as I mentioned, um, I haven't actually done this before. So let's dive in. All right, so the first thing you want to do, at least the first thing I'm going to do, and we'll decide if this is wrong later, is go into X-Lights to the layout tab. You know, I had brought this picture of my new house in the other day. Uh, we're just going to shut that off for the moment. And I built myself a matrix that is 96 by 128, which is what I've got here. I want to stretch it to be approximate because the animations I build in X-Lights are going to need to... Uh, to scale correctly and we'll tweak that later all right um, so now we're going to go ahead to the controllers tab i connected my fpp to my network i'll show you this real quick or connected to the inbuilt network hit discover it should show right up da ding it tells me that i have a controller already da 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 da, -da. Um, the matrix model is assigned to that fpp device and then we're going to go here in the layout tab and we're going to set this up. So following the X-Lights manual, uh, what we want to do is set up a LED panel matrix. Set the port. I believe port 1 is good. The controller is set to FPP. And then... Doo -doo 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 -doo. I don't think there's a lot else that we need because it should be DDP here on the controller settings. That's great. Uh, auto size, etc., etc. And then I think we've got everything we need. Huh? Output to lights move there. This is what happens when you up update X lights. You find new stuff. Okay. <laughs> um, and then it says, oh, it says we can do uh, set the description, set the vendor to FPP in the controller type. So, whoops, FPP and the model Pi hat. Leave the ID alone. And then we get the ability to auto layout, auto upload, auto size, full X lights control. In pretty much all cases, I just leave all that stuff on, hit save. Then you should see it upload. No, it auto uploads when we output to lights. So I'm just going to hit upload output real quick. And we might have the wrong IP address in here. So we'll see if it fails. Yep, it failed. Um, because it set its IP address to 215, which is the wired plugin. And I actually want to be at 192.168.0.181 again. That's particular to my setup. Your setup may vary. I changed that to the correct IP address that I'm actually connected to on my Wi-Fi, and we see the message that the FPP output upload is complete. Now, skipping ahead and not following the instructions, I'm going to go to that IP address for FPP, which I had in, an, in another tab, but you can always double-click right here and open it up in your browser. 
it's playing this show. We're just going to stop that. That's a test that I was doing. And we're going to go here. Um, this was already configured for some stuff. And go to channel outputs. I'm just going to check everything here. So it looks like, yeah, right now it's set up for E131. Really, we want DDP. I believe we want it one based. That should have uploaded. Um, and so we'll see what happens there. <laughs> it should figure itself out. And then under LED panels, let's see. We should have something here. And we didn't. So I'm going to set this up manually because something didn't work right. So connection is color light, enable LED panels, interface Ethernet, perfect. And then they're telling me, okay, so I want to actually enter the panels that I actually have. So we're going to go to your pixel store just to show you here real quick. Because his uh, P5s are, just click on one here. They are a 64 by 32 P5, okay? So if I go back over here, I'm going to say that we're doing two wide by three tall. And we said, what did we say it was? 64 by 32. And I believe we are one eighth scan. I believe that's the most common. If not, we'll fight it in a minute. <laughs> And then I believe this is all correct here, but we'll find out soon enough. The more important thing to me here is like, okay, hit save, restart FPPD, and then we can actually test this thing. All right. So the theory goes, checking the manual here, that we should be able to just turn on output to lights, build a quick sequence and see something happen. And that's going to tell us, are we getting output to the Pi directly? We're seeing something uh, because I had the data before. Now it's half gone. Um, and then um, we should be able to see something work. If it's out of order or something, that's fixable. But we just want to see, okay, is the data flowing? Is everybody happy, right? So we're going to turn that on. And FPP should automatically, um, if it's 5.0 or newer, default to bridge mode to be able to pass that data along. I think that should work uh, with these, but we're going to find out real quick. So we're going to set up a quick sequence here. I like bars. David likes the bars test all day long. And so that's clearly where we didn't set something up right. So I'm going to troubleshoot and be right back. All right, friends. So I'm going to dim this way down, actually. So there's a few things that I messed up that uh, should be able to help you do this better. So first things first, uh, I think there was some kind of funky data conflict just with the fact that I had opened up the color light app and I had the test pattern on there. Then I unplugged it uh, from the Ethernet, plugged in the Pi and was sending new data. It was it was kind of holding some of it. I don't know if that was essential or not, but regardless, uh, that was important to, I just unplugged the, the color light, the whole panel, restarted it, everybody was happy. Okay, next settings that I messed up that I want you to get right on your first time. So I'd set my, my height, I had verified um, on uh, your Pixel Store, thank you, Minor, 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 I'm learning to say it right, um, that his scan rate is 1 8th, great, I think that's the most common, excuse me. And then LED panel layout, so by default, uh, in uh, in the layout here, um, it says view config from front. That's great. But they're all set to output one. That's O1 and then panel one. So I just look at my front view here and I know that I'm on the back. I'm left to right. So on the front, I'm right. I'm right to left. And so the first two are output one, panel one, panel two. Next two output two, same panel three. Um, and then if the color order is different, which I think they are, uh, we do need to fix that because here in X lights, I'm red, white. Let me just do red, green, blue here. That's not going to help me. Uh, <laughs> so if I do red, green, I see I get blue, green. And then if I do green, blue, I get, uh, so basically, yeah, basically if I do all red, 
I get blue. If I do all green, I get green. If I do all blue, I get all red. So that means instead of RGB, this panel is BGR, okay? But that's okay because you could totally go here and do BGR. And let me just change this first row, hit save, let it restart and verify because um, that's real key to do. So once FPPD restarts, we'll verify. See there, first panel's correct. The other ones I hadn't set up yet. We'll just uh, go through it quick. Hey, that's actually green. Hey, that's actually blue. And so then I can go do my other ones. So BGR, your panel may vary uh, depending on batch that you get it from, etc., etc. Killer. So now we can save that uh, when we get a chance. And there is also, there should be a brightness setting in here. Maybe not, because this thing is like blowing my mind out. You might do that from the Color Light app. Again, I'm, I'm just a test dummy here, having never done this before. Um, so then we can check. So it should be scrolling up if we configured all our models right. Once it comes back, we should see that happening. <clears throat> and hey, it's scrolling down. So that's where model start corner, I didn't verify this at all, in X lights here. You know, my start corner here is bottom left, right here in X lights, and I wrote top left here in FPP. So let's change it, restart it. If we go back to the sequencer, watch it move. Once it comes back, we should be going up. Do, 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 do. Ta da! And so that's that. At that point, you're ready to rock and roll. One of the first things I would do when setting up a new P panel is, uh, well, one, of course, you can turn down the brightness on this stuff, uh, but uh, that can be done later, is run something like a text effect, okay? Um, so what you want to do is go ahead and find that good old text effect. States, biograph, blah, 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 blah. L M N O P Q R S T. You think I would know my alphabet by now? <laughs> so you set that up and get it looking right in the preview here in X Lights. Your Pixel Stro. Your Pixel Store. Your Pixel Store. And then we could set it to move a little and take a look at it. Take a look at the scale. Make sure everything looks like you think it should. And it should. Um, if it doesn't look right, you can always tweak it here in the layout. Like if I smush this like mad and then go back and let it update. In theory, it'll smush like mad. Maybe. Nope. Okay. Well, just ignore me then. Uh, <laughs> I thought for sure that would smush it, but maybe because it smushes it in X lights, but then the pixel size is this. I don't know. That's blowing my mind. Uh, so maybe the aspect ratio doesn't matter as much because the pixels are set there. I don't know. Either way, this is how you configure this stuff. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you know, be cliche and stick a butterfly effect on it. Um, at the end of the day, these P panels are great. They can be a lot of fun and they can be run a lot of ways out of X lights. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope it helped you to set up your P5 panel, uh, whether from your Pixel Store, thank you for sponsoring this, or from another source uh, with FPP to control out of X lights. It's also worth noting before we go that you can choose to set up your P panel as part of your show um, in your different sequences for your songs. Uh, but you can also go, and actually I know I'm blowing myself out here. You can also go and you can actually set it up um, doing its completely own thing. You could literally set it up on its own schedule or not part of your show and just have the P panel play, you know, a scrolling message constantly that says tune to 97.3, you know, uh, or whatever your, your frequency is, right? Uh, if you do put it in your show, you know, at that point, you can go between tune, you can go between the, the tune to message and a message about what the current song is, which is cool. I know my wife really likes that, and she's going to appreciate that this year. Um, and that's about it. So honestly, setting it up once you get the color light stuff done, 
really isn't that difficult. Um, it actually has worked quite well. And so I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, especially if you want to check out these panels, go check out your Pixel Store. Um, Minor is clearly, Minor, sorry, I'm so sorry, dude, um, is clearly becoming the expert on these P panels and just having this great resource to be able to get these awesome enclosures that require so little work to put together compared to the previous alternatives. I'm so glad there's finally an easy way to do this. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye.